Hello everyone, happy Monday and welcome to Amway office. This is the last part of our nutrition journey together with Elisa and Dr. Avaldi. So um, for all of you who have been able to follow us in the previous session, we have been covering the importance of macronutrients and micronutrients, the importance of protein for everybody at any age, uh, the importance of uh, minerals and vitamins. And also we have been discussing about the importance of the calorie intake and metabolism. And today we are gonna have a brief recap of the true and false about the healthy eating. And we are gonna have some tips from Dr. Avaldi about healthy eating itself. Thank you, Dr. Avaldi, for being here with us today. Thank you very much. We are at the last step of our journey. So uh, it's important uh, as uh, Elisa said before, to have a summary of what uh, we discussed uh, before and uh, for this reason I'm here to give you some tips about uh, the nutrition plan. So basically uh, one, of, one of the main things that we, that we listen to is uh, uh, I get enough protein from meat and I don't need to get additional protein because uh, I just get enough of the intake that I need eating red meat and it's helpful to beat muscles. Is this true? Uh, it's not completely true uh, because uh, we perfectly know that uh, uh, there are successful athletes uh, who are vegetarians and for this reason it's not important uh, to eat uh, uh, red meat uh, or only meat uh, just uh, to build up uh, our muscle but it's important to introduce the right combination of protein plant protein pro animal protein and plant protein in uh, each meal you consume during, during the day. Uh, considering that uh, plant protein are more digestible and uh, for this reason uh, give us, provide us uh, less fats, less salts and uh, less calories. So we consume less just to digest and to absorb into the bloodstream the plant protein. And uh, going back to the importance of carbs, for example, one of the uh, most popular statements <coughs> from, uh, from ladies of any kind of ages is uh, that they, uh, they, do, they try to avoid carbs because they, uh, carbs make you put on weight. Is this true? Are so dangerous? Uh, another fake news is, is it's completely false. Uh, if you eat the right amount of carbs during the day, uh, you don't put on weight but uh, uh, it's important to eat carbs because, uh, as I said in my first uh, uh, presentation, that carbs are really the first energy, the prime source of energy for our body. So it's necessary to uh, refill our muscle, to refill our liver, to let mm, our brain to work uh, at its best. So it's important to introduce carbs in the right way what you need, you, you really need. And just uh, remember the suggestions we have from the Mediterranean diet. Carbs, proteins and fat in each meal. Thank you for the very powerful direct recap, which is very, very important for all of us. What about the processed food? Can we say that processed food is unhealthy and makes you put on weight? Yes, this is completely true. Uh, processed foods are very, very unhealthy. Very unhealthy because, uh, as I said before, uh, can bring you to pathologies like diabetes, like hypercholesterolemia, and uh, also uh, pathologies uh, for your cardiovascular disease that, that when you are getting older, uh, just uh, could be uh, unhealthy for, for, your, for your lifestyle. So, uh, please avoid, avoid and, uh, the processed uh, foods, uh, so avoid to be, to be too close to all the dispensers you have in, uh, in, uh, in your life. Uh, another, uh, I mean, at this stage we would like to have some tips from you, Dr. Avaldi, about the balanced nutritional plan, I would say. Because, I mean, uh, we don't want to step into the calorie counting, we don't want to step into uh, another topic which is very popular, which is the, uh, the chance of losing weight, but just for, uh, for us to have a very rough idea about a balance. 
nutritional plan for us to stay healthy? Uh, yes, uh, just uh, let me start by saying that uh, we start from the Mediterranean diet. So Mediterranean diet is our model uh, to follow uh, the right uh, nutritional plan. And uh, for this reason, I can suggest, suggest you just a rough idea of uh, what you can eat if you are 30, 40 or 50. Uh, let me uh, show you some, uh, some nutritional plan. If you can see uh, in the nutritional plan uh, of a man of about 30 years, uh, you can see that uh, I, choose, I choose a, a breakfast with a Greek yogurt of about 170 grams with 5% of fats. And you can consume this yogurt with two spoons of uh, muesli or oat. And if you like a salted breakfast, uh, you can also uh, eat uh, smoked salmon or turkey or ham. And uh, with turkey, ham or, so, or, so, or uh, mm, uh, smoked salmon, uh, you can have also a wool grain bread, uh, two slices of wool grain bread. Don't remember to have a, a, a snack, uh, a smoothie with uh, all plant protein, I mean, if you like. And uh, uh, at lunch, don't, don't forget to consume also uh, cereals. And uh, if you like, uh, red meat, not more than twice, uh, than twice a week. And uh, you can consume, not, I prefer not boiled, but uh, grilled or uh, baked. Another snacks also in the afternoon and a dinner, avoiding the red meat and prefer to introduce plant protein, the protein coming from, uh, from uh, the plant and consuming also fish or something else like eggs or omelette, something like, like that. If you want, you can prepare a soup using also plant protein just to have a more digestible for dinner. The same for the women. You can just reduce the amount of carbs and the amount of uh, proteins inside this, this plan, but you can follow the, the, the same nutritional plan as I already demonstrated and showed you uh, in, in, for, for the men. So basically we can have the same plan? Yes, for them basically both. the same plan but reducing all the amount, okay. the, 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 the amount of, of the of carbs and proteins and fats, of course. For breakfast, uh, for a nutritional plan for men of about 40 years, uh, I suggest also here to introduce also, if you want, uh, a saturated fats, that is good for a man. And uh, uh, you can use also at breakfast ricotta cheese, if you like, uh, with one spoon of honey, a right uh, administration of um, uh, carbs, of sugars, and two slices of whole grain, a complex uh, carbs. Just you have fats, carbs, and proteins too. Smoothie as well, as I, as I told, uh, as I showed before, and the lunch also with, uh, uh, with uh, grains, with the grains, uh, rice, pasta, uh, barley, corn, and something else, and also a uh, red meat, not more than twice a week, and uh, if you like, uh, also fish or other kind of uh, uh, meat, like uh, chicken or turkey. Can I ask you a question? What about how many grams of pasta should we eat, <laughs> roughly speaking? Uh, roughly speaking, uh, well, uh, from 50 to 80 grams for a woman and for a man from 70 to 100 grams of pasta or rice. Not, not, not more if you don't do physical activity. If you, if you do physical activity, you can eat more. <laughs> and, and about, and, and about uh, uh, proteins, uh, yes, uh, remember that uh, I said that uh, if you eat uh, 100 grams of uh, chicken, uh, you have introduced only 30 grams of protein. So uh, you can introduce uh, about uh, 150 grams of uh, red meat or of chicken or of turkey, just to introduce the right amount of uh, proteins at each meal. And of course, uh, remember that uh, plant protein uh, for sure 
are more digestible than animal proteins and it's better to consume not only at dinner but along uh, all the day. Thank you. So are we going to target them with the last group, 50 plus I would say? Yes, uh, 50 plus is uh, a, a, a very, very, uh, how to say, um, it, it could be a problem because uh, uh, you passed from uh, the uh, adult age to the actual age, more or less. Already at 50 <laughs> plus nowadays. Uh, not, not but uh, <laughs> your, your metabolism and your body, not your metabolism, but especially your body composition is going to change. By 50? By 50, yes, because you lose muscle mass. And for this reason, it's very important to introduce the right amount of protein to avoid to lose muscle mass. And please remember to combine animal protein and plant protein in the same meal, because there are a lot of scientific publications that uh, stress, that underline that the right combination of plant protein and animal protein could be a, a very, very good source of uh, amino acid our muscle really need. And uh, for this reason, remember that uh, there are also to introduce the phytonutrients because phytonutrients are very important for because they have a uh, they act as uh, antioxidant just to fight the stress you have every day and also omega-3 omega-3 is uh, uh, I said before also it's a natural compound a natural anti-inflammatory compound that uh, can um, fight the inflammation we have when you are getting older All right. thank you so much for your piece of advice Dr. Avaldi thank you thank you and uh, I think we arrived by the very last step of our journey. So thank you so much, everybody, for being with us. Thank you, Dr. Avaldi. And thank you for our followers to, um, to join, I mean, for being with us during this uh, nutritional trip to, uh, to healthy eating. Um, hope you uh, enjoy it and stay tuned. Thank you.